All right, we're going to review the Hot Blog Tips website. Obviously, you've been doing it for a while. You got a lot of content. You get into a little bit of engagement. You got 11 comments on this post, 39 comments on that post, 8 comments on that post. You obviously are are building your tribe, and that's great. I did have a chance to watch your video. Um, the video isn't very good. I would definitely recommend doing something a little bit more professional, or at least you know, paying attention to the people in your audience while you're actually doing the video. You're doing something else while your computer's restarting or something like that. But that video has absolutely nothing to do with why I would want to sign in, uh, sign up. So what's going to make me put my email address in here? Huh? What's value does, does this provide? The VIP list? Okay, what does a VIP list include? So I think it comes down to your site is organizing your content with a concrete foundation of what value you provide. So very top up here, your unique value proposition, helping bloggers of every level. Nobody can see that. Make that really big. Make that really big and helping people understand exactly what you do. Um, as I went through your site, I found uh, that there is a level of monochromatic stuff going on and nothing pops up the page except for the images and that's okay but you probably want to start selling something either it's ads or whatever however you do it um, but over here on this right column you know basically everything that you're doing over here is repeating all the content and which is all fine but you probably should be selling something, have a product, have some affiliate links, rec making recommendations. Um, uh, what happens if you click on this? Yeah, you go to that. So, you know, I, <clears throat> like, a lot of what I see of the problems with getting people to sign up for your list is that you don't tell people what they get and, and that it's free. Like, you're forcing me to read all this stuff. Oh yeah, I want hot blogging tips, but what does that actually offer? Why? You're actually re you're forcing me to read all of this and then go through a, a uh, another opt-in on uh, another video. You know, there's definitely a disconnect of why I would actually put my email address in. Um, so, but overall, I think you know you, you're doing a lot of stuff right. I think you just have to tie it to how you're actually making money. Um, you know, whether it's uh, content success or maybe you're selling something through your newsletter and just doing all inbound. Um, but you know there's there's some ideas here so let's let's take a look at some other examples of, of some other stuff you can do uh, Chris Brogan site he's got a nice uh, pop over but really what's going on here is that he's really introducing you to him and I think that's what you're really missing is is having some brand identity that people can uh, connect with you with without you having to watch a video who are you what do you do and why do I care and Chris Brogan does that really nice with his site. As you scroll down, everything's nice and easy, easy to read, and you can click and read the next post. Uh, moving on, I found this other site, which could be a competitor. Um, they're doing some very similar things to you, but what I did like, and I wanted to call out, was how they do their opt-in box. So that shows, even if I don't read it, the whole entire thing, blogging tips, it looks like I'm gonna get this thing from Jack, uh, Zach Johnson. So I wanna to subscribe to that. So that could be some incentive to get them to put their email address in. As I move through the posts, um, you know, even though that this content is the same right here, like this shouldn't be recent posts. This should be top posts and then additional stuff below that. You know, as I scroll down, they're just, they got a lot of stuff going on too. You know, there's no, there's no, nothing on the right column that's weighted there. You know, really for their, their site, what I'd recommend is taking this and finding a way to make this automatically slide down the page. So you always have an opt-in box on the right. That's, that's what I would recommend for, for their site, but obviously it's not your site, but uh, let's see how it compares to yours. Uh, what I did like comparatively to to yours, like, you know, all of the, I think there's there's some issues with your navigation because yes, I want to find out about you. Ask us why would I ask you? Ask uh, maybe ask experts about blogging tips, VIP list, and then categories. Um, I think it's a little bit confusing these two, you know, um, 
navigation is at the very, very top. You might have more advanced bloggers visiting your site, so they could probably easier understand that, so I can, I can relate to that. Um, but I did like how they organized this page. So they, you know, they organized it into blogging, WordPress, interviews, resources, that. And I understand that you organize it into um, blogging tips, successful blogging, that, you know, advanced blogging. Uh, you know, the categories aren't totally bad, but it, it did bother me. Uh, you know, what's the difference between me successful blogging and advanced blogging? You know, you know, I didn't really not necessarily get that. So it could be a little bit of a navigation issue, but nothing really too, too much of a concern. Let's let's keep on moving. Uh, nothing more that I really liked about that site. Uh, this site addicted to success. What I did like about this site. Um, is probably that it's more of a magazine style. I think compared to yours where you're, you know, no, I like yours. I like yours. Forget that. I, you know, they're, they, they're doing something very similar and it's not too much of, of a difference to really call you out on that. But I, let's move on. Uh, this site, um, as I arrive here, I get this little pop-up. But what I did like about this site is the header. You know, um, the domain name is, is is worked into the unique selling proposition, is, which is cool. But he also has this little picture here because in the end of the day, people are going to be buying stuff from him. So if you want more people to give you money, maybe you should connect with them more. You know, on a personal level, have them show your picture so they can easily relate to you. It's just a suggestion, something to try. You know, it doesn't work for everybody. Some people make more money not showing their pictures. Some people make a lot of money showing their picture, but. You know there are different ideas here to try. I also like this free tools area right here. You're able to, um, I think maybe this is like links to like affiliate stuff or whatever, but it is called out here. So I think this this could be really nice um, along with some of the additional advertising. The one that I really wanted to, that I came across that I think that you could could relate to a little bit. Um, it's not perfect for your portal type of site, but how this page flows. You know, you have on your page, I, I do like the header. I like the, the logo. I think that's really nice. But, you know, I think there's a lot of, of activity going on in, in the actual content. You know, all that black and white, it just becomes a little bit overwhelming. You know, um, and in this case, I really liked how they broke up the top with the opt-in. And then as they scroll down the page, you have these nice little categories. So I think there's something that I definitely learned there from there, but I don't have really too many tips for you aside from, you know, sell more stuff. You're getting the engagement already. Maybe just have more stuff that they can download, create uh, PDFs that they can, they can get, um, you know, and, and find different ways. You know, if, if, if this page is really about advanced blogging, you know, I would have an inbound uh, form right here. That's all about inbound, uh, advanced blogging. You can have a white paper about advanced blogging, and it'll get more people to actually sign up for your lead form related to advanced blogging. I hope this is helpful, and uh, take care. I enjoy your site. I'm going to subscribe, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll check it out in the future. Thanks. Later.